This is a presentation about CB Subs, which is the paid subscription membership solution for Community Builder. Uh, it's actually a set of plugins, Community Builder plugins, that will take your Joomla slash CB site uh, to the next level, allowing you basically to charge, or it could be free, for subscriptions. Subscriptions could have specific durations, whatever. And you can actually leverage your existing content in Joomla and specify which content can be viewed by which subscription. Mm -hmm. So if you already have a Joomla website, or if you're planning one, or if you have, a, have one with content, you could take that existing content and say, for example, either by article, either by category base, you could say everything in this category uh, can be read only by people that have subscription A, or <coughs> subscription B, or subscription C. Yeah. And if somebody, you can even say, I'll let the teaser portion be free for everybody, and the read more needs to be, <laughs> it's cool, it's like a yeah, built-in yes. marketing tool, yeah. So what happens is, uh, it, it doesn't stop there. If somebody actually does not have a subscription and tries to read something and clicks the read more, the system will propose all the subscriptions that would unlock that specific content. Yes, yes. So it, suggests, it would suggest. It actually suggests, yeah, what, what happens. So it's very, it's very interactive and it's, it's a built-in marketing tool. Yes. Not only, I mean, and it, this, it has its own ACL internally also. You could basically program uh, a plan, a subscription plan, to say when somebody subscribes there, add that user to another Joomla ACL group, if you want, and then do the protection through Joomla. That's but, what, uh, yeah, if, if you want to do that. Uh, but you don't have to do that because it has its own built-in ACL and it'll actually mm. uh, do it for you. It's up to you how you want to. You can do both. Yeah. You can do, combine both, whatever. Give yourself handy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just want to do a very quick presentation just so we know what CB Sub GPL is, and then I'll go hands on, a hands on session where I will actually install CB Subs over Community Builder and do some initial setups to see how quick yeah. we can set up uh, subscription plans. To, go ahead. <laughs> uh, uh, so how quickly we can set up subscription plans uh, on an existing website and protect some content. And there are there are tons of, not tons, uh, probably a dozen or twenty extra plugins that you can install depending on what you want. You don't have to put everything on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe. So you have to really uh, think. Plugins besides CB subs or plugins. Yeah, CB subs. subs the, the, you'll, we'll see. CB subs has one main plugin. And a number of integration plugins. Okay. So depending on what, if you want to charge taxes, there's a tax plugin. If you want to do promotions, there's a promotion plugin. Yeah, so there's if, all the payment service providers as well. Right. Uh, there are some payment service providers that are built in. There are some that you have to install extra. Okay. Uh, for example, PayPal Authorized Net uh, is built in. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, if you want to do uh, PayPal Pro or uh, to check out or Ogon, there's a number of that are extra packages yeah. and we keep on adding them all together. Yes. So, uh, just a quick definition of what a membership site should, should do basically. It has to support membership plans, which could be free or paid. Mm -hmm. There should be a validity period, you might say per month, per year, per lifetime. Yeah, so uh, uh, no, we're looking to end on a specific date. Yeah, it could end or it could be a lifetime, yes. not end. You, yes. you, don't, you don't fix the end date, you, you basically say the duration because you don't know when it's going to start. Unless you have clubs, which yes. clubs have physical calendar date, you can program that too. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. And you can, also, you can set when your calendar starts because some clubs start in January, some might start yes. in April. Yes. Depends how you want to do it. It's very flexible there. Uh, and you know, once somebody uh, becomes a member of a specific membership plan, you have some privileges. I mean, that's the whole idea. Yeah. I mean, to give them some privileges, not only take the money. I mean, you have some privileges. Some privileges could be online, 
on your site. Mm -hmm. Some could be offline. Mm -hmm. You know, you join. A, you Get a magazine. Right. Exactly. There's lots of things you can do. Yeah. Uh, and you want to be able to also manage the subscriptions in terms of you want to want to want to send a message to everybody that's in a specific plan. Yeah. Uh, you might want to be able to advertise the fact that uh, Joe is a member, a subscriber in our advanced package and put a nice badge on his profile. Yeah. And actually the badge could also follow him on his forum posts. Yes. Which is cool. I mean. So, and let's just go further down. So these are the main characteristics. I mean, basically, uh, just so you know, we actually use CB subs, and we, we built it because we needed something to manage the Jumalopoulos membership, and it became such a beast, <laughs> we made a product out of it, out of it, because it's very flexible, and at the time, there wasn't anything out there mm -hmm. that was, I mean, uh, Magendo is probably the only thing, and you can spend tens of thousands of dollars there, and no, might not get the functionality that in some cases we have here. So there are, there's just a list of you know, some of the features. You can protect basically any content. I explained the article concept, but you can also protect access to any Joomla component that you installed. Or uh, you can show a module to specific subscribers, but not to somebody else. Or uh, what, what, what's even more powerful, you can even protect parts of a component by looking at the URL that's constructed. We use that on uh, our forums to restrict, for example, nobody could actually do a post in the advanced support area if he doesn't have the subscription, but they could read. Yeah. So we let them, it's kind of it's very flexible. You just have to know what you want, <laughs> yes. uh, as with everything. Uh, and there are tons of integration f for with other uh, Joomla extensions mm -hmm. and you can also if you remember the previous presentation about auto actions you can also on the fly uh, do an SQL manipulation if you need to add somebody to a different component that's done through the database if there's no API involved so let's we need, let, let's set up the expectations okay uh, we built it it wasn't there and it's basically a set of community builder plugins and there are also two or three Joomla. There's a Joomla module and a Joomla uh, plugin that actually does the ACL protection. And as I said, there's a built-in mechanism for ACL, but you can also use the CMS uh, mm -hmm. now that Joomla has yes, pretty cool excellent. ACL. But when we did this, it didn't. Yeah. Okay, this is to answer your question. When you when you purchase the CB, when you download CB subs and you unzip it, you'll get a ton of files. Yeah. The main file is the CB subs underscore main, the second one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the main product. The bot on top is the Joomla plugin that does the protection. Yes. And from then on, you have a list of things depending on what you want. I mean, you have an integration plugin for CB sub, for alpha user points, an integration plugin for CB fields. So if somebody, for example, uh, becomes a subscriber, you can automatically update a CB field and use that elsewhere in your, uh, you can use that field, for example, to create a front-end list, yeah. user list. Uh, so there are, there are lots of integration plugins and you pick and choose what you want when you need it. And uh, we also have great documentation. <laughs> I mean, you won't get tired. <laughs> I mean, it's very, very well documented. And still, there's so much in there that it, in some cases, it, it's not doing itself justice. I mean, uh, I have a couple of sections that are just use case examples. Yeah. Because uh, I feel that if you see and read a use case, it'll help you start thinking the right way. Because there's so many things that, that, that can be done. Uh, and we have, of course, nice forums on Jumlapolis that you could ask almost anything you want and we'll do the best to address things. Okay. Now, basic terminology, I mean, you might, if you've dealt with online subscription systems, you've probably heard lots of these. You have a payment gateway, which is basically a gateway from your web to the organization, the payment organization. Okay. Uh, we have 
uh, plans. A plan basically could be a subscription, it could be a donation, or it could be a merchandise purchase. The difference between the three is a subscription typically has an end. Yeah. Might have an end if it's, not, if it's not a lifetime. Donation doesn't, and the merchandise doesn't. You just buy it, and you can buy it again, and you can buy it again. <laughs> donation, you can donate, you donate again. Subscription, usually you subscribe and you wait to end, and then you can resubscribe. I mean, there's a subtle difference here. Uh, you have a grace period. These are just some, uh, you might say, okay, I know your subscription ends 30 days, but I'm going to give you like three or four days grace period. So if something happens and you cannot renew right away, I'll still keep, give you access for a couple of days. I'm, I'm yeah. Just nice things. You can actually have different. What, what, what uh, uh, moment do you do in that period? Excuse me? We'll moan at you. We'll complain. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you can, uh, the price, when you set up a price, you can actually set up a different first time period. You can say, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a trial, a two day trial for free. From, from then on, you have every month, you pay this amount. Yes. Or you can have a, a cheaper. It doesn't have to be free, but it could be free. Yeah, so there might be something special you get with the first month of the charge. Uh, it's extra. an incentive for people to try things out. Yes, but the first, the first period pricing could be more than, rather than less. Well, then I would have, if, if you have different privileges, then there should be different plans. Yeah. I mean, the whole idea of uh, creating a plan with a first time period and then a follow-up period is to entice them to use it and then say, yeah, I want to continue this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. At least that's, that was the concept. Uh, yes. You can have auto-recurring payments. Of course, the payment uh, gateway and organization have to support it, where basically you're telling the user it's so much a month and you're automatically subscribed, so every month I'll be charging you unless you stop it. Okay, we don't do that, but some organizations do that. Uh, you can decide how many times somebody's allowed to renew. You might have a very, very cheap uh, plan saying, well, you're only allowed two times to try this out, and then <laughs> you can't do that anymore. Uh, lots, of, lots of things you can do, basically. Okay, uh, you can have a hierarchy of plans. You can have, for example, a player plan, and then extra sub-plans to get a little more benefits <laughs> over, the, above, over the first plan. So that that's kind of addresses what you were asking before. Uh, so, so, yes. Yeah. And the, the cool concept is prorating. I mean, if you have two different plans and you allow somebody to upgrade from an advanced plan, for example, to professional, you can select to prorate the residual value, which means basically yeah. if you sign up today and you paid 100 and the other plan, the more expensive, is 150 and you upgrade the exact next day, you only pay 50, the difference. If, if you take a month to decide, then your residual life on your existing plan is less than the 100 because you've already eaten up a month. Yeah. <laughs> It'll actually calculate that and subtract it. So it's, it's pretty fair. Yeah. And that's built in. Of course, it's configurable. You can say, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Charge the full price. <laughs> yeah. Should have. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's some of the terminology. The payment center is very cool. You see a, a, an overview right off the bat of what's happening the last seven days with graph representation. Of course, you can actually uh, filter specific dates through a statistics uh, module to get a similar view for a specific period you want. Uh, this is what the main panel looks like. A lot of nice icons <laughs> back and forth that you can really play with. And we'll, we'll take a look at that. Uh, and best, if you look at the, uh, not of the uh, currencies, basically it, online it'll uh, communicate every, every day with the European bank and get all of the, the conversion rates for you. So you can do multiple currency things and everything like that if, if you need to. Uh, okay, so this is what, if you set up a payment gateway, well actually the example will set up uh, a dummy test gateway so we don't have to go through real payments, but we can simulate the whole process. Of course you can have as many gateways as you want. I mean you can say, you know, well you can pay through PayPal or you can, pay through to checkout or whatever. Depends how you want to do things. Uh, this is what the plan overview looks like. So you say you can even color code the plans. 
So you, basically this example, we have a free weekly plan and a paid daily plan, just a, as an example. And these are exclusive. You see the exclusive column means that you, can, you cannot subscribe to both at the same time. You, you subscribe to one and then you can upgrade to the other. Or you can have some plans that are not exclusive, which means you can actually do them in parallel. It's up to your use case and how, how you want to uh, form the business. Uh, content protection, the way it works basically, the, when the CMS, the Joomla basically pushes, tries to push content out to, to, the, to your website for viewing, the actual, the CB subs Joomla bot that I showed you before basically intercepts that, takes a look if it's, it's, it's allowed to be viewed or not. If it's not, it'll uh, give the message. Yes. If it is, it'll show it. And you can actually protect articles, menus, modules, and components or URL parts of your website. And this is, of course, above and beyond the Joomla protection, if, if you, you can do both. So this is just a simple example. Uh, for the, there are two articles here, and the left one is, the, the name of the article is what our freely weekly plan, and basically uh, I have protected this, and basically say if somebody, somebody can view it only if they have a free weekly plan. And I've protected the other one for a free daily plan. So, and you see, instead of the read more, the actual Joomla bot interjects to read more, a subscription is needed. <laughs> Click here. Yes. Of course, you can customize the wording as you want through language files, no problems. And you can also hide modules. So if somebody, for example, uh, does not have the right subscription, the module will not appear. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, protect an entire component. So you can have a polling component. Somebody clicks, they're not allowed to poll. They're not allowed to participate because they don't have the proper subscription. And the system actually, as, I, as you see in the, the, the right corner here, the system will actually uh, propose which plan you need to upgrade to to actually access what you try to access. Yeah. Same thing with forums, with URL parts. We use this on Jublopolis a lot, so you can even try it. <laughs> And uh, we have a actual a CB subs module, Joomla module, which can actually be used to promote marketing. So if somebody is logged in and has a free subscription, for example, it'll, it'll give him his options. You know, hey, yes. you can do this, or you can do that. We put nice messages in there, and play games. Uh, and it has integration basically. So when somebody, when somebody subscribes to a plan, Using the trigger methodology, I mean, uh, it'll fire a trigger, and the plugin, the integration plugin, will decide what to do. So, for example, if we have a document integration plugin installed, and we can uh, uh, configure things and say, if somebody subscribes to this plan, we'll add him to that document group, so he has access to this these download areas. Uh, okay. Let's just go fast here. I mean, this just some exa quick examples. As I said, SQL integration. I mean, you can even execute an SQL statement if somebody subscribes. Yeah. So you can play games there. Or, or actually execute a script through a URL and pass the script specific parameters. Yes. And so you can put the logic in the script if you want. So this is basically a tool for developers to go that extra mile yes. without hacking <laughs> and, yes. and without playing uh, what if yeah, games? So I could, you know, run a full CGI script if I wanted to. Or... Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, a nice, very cool feature is you can actually it integrates very nicely with Community Builder. So you can actually uh, specify at a field basis or or a tab basis who can see. Mm -hmm. So you can specify, you can see. Uh, you, you, you have tab A in your profile if you're subscribed to this plan. Yeah. Or you can even say, in order for somebody else to see tab A in your profile, he has to be subscribed to this other plan. Yes. So th there's, there's a huge degree of freedom on how you want to uh, structure things for your membership. Mm 
I mean, it's very, very versatile. I mean, <laughs> and this is, again, without the Joomla ACL layer. You can do this yeah. through the Joomla ACL uh, now. You can do this now, before you couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so basically, as I mentioned, the architecture is basically uh, CB subs is a system that works outside of Community Builder Framework with the plugins, the triggers, and so on, and it ties together the whole architecture like this. Uh, this is just, at the time, this is an old slide, actually. I mean, it supports anywhere from Joomla 1.0 to 3.1. <laughs> yeah. So there's no issue there. You decide what you want to do. It has all these Joomla extension supports internally, yeah. and we keep on adding more. It has these gateways uh, kind of underneath, and actually there's much more now <laughs> that are not shown. And basically each plan, with each plan you can give specific privileges to your subscribers. That's the whole co-concept. You've seen this before, it's just the, the appy layout. Okay, so I'm stopping this, and now I'm switching to live. What I have here is, I actually did it, actually 10 minutes ago I finished this. <laughs> it's a Joomla uh, 2.5 site. Yeah. It could have been 3.1, no issue. Actually, the other demo I have will be 3.1, but I figured I'd do this. So basically, I just have Community Builder installed. Mm -hmm. If you look in the front end, it's basically has the sample content with Community Builder logged in, okay? Registration form is community builders now. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So what I want to do here now is install uh, CB subs and create two plans, a free lifetime plan and an advanced plan that's paid for money. So I'll just do that. I mean, so community builder, this is a nice uh, admin module that brings community builder to your uh, main administration menu. So we basically go to the plugin management, click install plugin. There we go. This is the CB subs main plugin. Just click there, install it. Hit the main icon. It's installed. Continue. We'll see. Actually, we see right now this admin navigation module picked it up that we installed it and it shows us <laughs> the icons. Yeah. So we haven't published it yet. Let me just go and publish that. Here, see so CB paid subscriptions. Just publish it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be installing two more things. Let me just do them, do them right away. I'm going to be installing here the. I find it. There we go. The da, 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 CB field integration. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want to do is mod modify the value of CB field when a subscription takes place. That's why I installed this. And I want to install the content protection. There we go. CB content. Choose. Okay, so I installed these two extra plugins which are here at the end. I just published them. One and a second. Okay, and I want to also install finally the Joomla. This time I'm using the Joomla extensions because I'm because I'm the bot is a Joomla plugin. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of people mix this up. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I can see why it's a Joomla. And this is here we go. This bot here is a Joomla plugin. So install that. There we go. And I want to publish that, so I go to extensions plugin management. I search for bot, I guess. There we go. And I publish that. So now I'm all set. Uh, if I go to the front end, I won't I shouldn't see anything. Nothing different. Totally nothing different here. Okay. Everything's the same as it was. Registration form, nothing's changed because I haven't created any plans or anything. So the first thing, let's just take a look here. I go to so is this for plugin this area. Is this for plugin? These are all the icons that we saw before. 
Yeah. First thing we want to set the settings. So we go here to the settings icon. Okay. Just give us some information. And this is this part here is kind of basic, fundamental, which you have to think of. We have a Joomla site. It could have members, it could have registered members, maybe it doesn't. We have to decide will we allow people to log in from here on without subscriptions mm -hmm. or not. It could be a free subscription that we give, but the thing is, are we, is, is the fact that this person is in the Joomla registration area, is that enough to let them log in? Yeah. So from this specific case, I'm gonna say no. And I'm gonna actually set this thing up to create subscriptions even for lifetime plans. I'll show you what this means later on. But it's yeah, so if, if there are registered users already, you could actually take them over? If, if they don't have a subscription and they're a registered user, they won't be able to log in. It'll, it'll, propose, yeah. it'll propose the plans they need yeah. to subscribe to in order to be able to log in. It basically blocks them. Yes, okay, but it's a one-off exercise. We'd have to go through... If you've got members already who've been... If you've got... I'll show, you, I'll show you in this case how I'm going to initialize right. the, the startup. It's kind of cool, too. Okay, so I set this up, keep everything. Let's just set the currency here since we're... <laughs> set pound sterlings, okay. Keep everything else the way it was. Okay, so let's just save this for a second. Uh, one other thing I, I, I want to do is uh, set up here in order to do test mode. So I don't really want to do real credit cards. I just want to set up a test mode. Yeah. So it's basically insecure, but it's used for testing. Yes. Okay. So save that. Okay, so again, nothing happens in the front end. <laughs> nothing changed, just do just set things up. First thing you want to do is set up a payment gateway. Right. And let's just do a new, uh, this is the list of supported ones out of the, ba out of the box. Yeah. Uh, I'll just do a dummy, a dummy gateway. You can also do an offline one, which basically means that the user goes through the process and says, I'm going to send you a check, or I've already did a wire transfer. So somebody has to see offline if that payment came in and come and reconcile it. Yeah. Okay, so let's just do here a dummy gateway, just for testing purposes. My dummy, whatever. Uh, we enable it. You can enable it for single, automatic, automated, you know, auto recurring. Just a single here because I'm not doing anything special. Keep everything the same. Just by default, it, it simulates Visa and MasterCard, but you can click anything you want here. Okay. Now, next step is to actually go here and start adding two plans. Okay, so we do plan number one. Subscription. Now let's do this first one. Let's make it the free, free lifetime membership. We give it an alias, and I'll show you what this means, how it'll work later on. Just to give it free, something short. Mm -hmm. And you can have a description here. Our Free membership level is a lifetime deal, and you get access to lots of free content, whatever, whatever message you want here. Okay, uh, we're not touching anything else. That's good enough. You can customize, you know, the messages that will pop up after a person subscribes, before they pay, and so on. There's a lot of customization, but I just want to show you quick and dirty how we get started. Okay, so we see it's, it's here. 
free one you up this is this is something that we didn't we didn't set up so we go back because the initial validity is one year we want to make it lifetime we said so we go to the pricing tab and here we go where it says validity a whole bunch of things here we just click lifetime subscription very flexible as I mentioned before you can have calendar yeah. calendar year for membership okay yeah. this specific case we have lifetime subscription okay so we created one plan let's do a second one which is paid now yeah. choose type again subscription Let's call this advanced membership and keep it advanced. Uh, maybe even shorter, AVD. Uh, you get much more with our advanced level. Whatever. Keep that the way it is go to the pricing tab right away now and keep it one year and put a price 100 I'm keeping the currency the way I set it up global so it'll be pounds now if I go to the front end now and refresh the registration form I see these two new plans and because they're exclusive, I can have to select one of them. Yeah. Okay. So this specific site has already two users. The admin and some John Doe person. So uh, let's assume I want to initialize these people to free, the free plans I just created. They, you, could be more than two, could be 100. Yes. And I want, to, I want to bring these registered users from Joomla into my membership structure. Mm -hmm. So I want to somehow import them. Yes. So there is an import here function. Click on import and you choose source. You want, you want to choose all users from this given CMS. So I, click, I want to click, for example, I have registered users. So I want to bring all the registered users and initialize them. So I choose the plan, free lifetime plan. And I choose the state, active. And I, it doesn't make a, it doesn't make a difference because it's lifetime, but let's assume I'm giving the, the, the subscription date starts today. Yeah. Okay. So I can actually uh, import or do a test just to see if uh, if, if things would work all together. So let me see if I can go here. There we go. So if I click here, I'm, I'm in test mode. The system will say dry run, no real subscriptions, one user found, yeah, which is John Doe. Okay, so I go back now and do, do the import correctly <laughs> now that I know it's okay. And so I choose the source again, which is all users from a given ACL group. And I say registered. Go and I choose the free plan active state today and this plan we do import done success what happens now if I go to the community builder back in see this person has been given a free subscription the other person admin was a super user so and there's no reason to do that because an admin is kind of outside of the protection scheme. It's a super admin, is is kind of a free for all. We don't want to. Some people have locked their sites <laughs> by actually protecting the administration part. So see, this is how we start up. We convert from a Joomla registered only to a membership site. This is a startup. Yes. So everybody is free, free, like they logged in got free. And from then on, they could upgrade to advanced or to your other paid memberships. Could you import from the CSV file yes. or something like that? But you have to have the users first in Community Builder. 
and Joomla. So there's a tool called CB Juice that you can put, you know, usernames, passwords, uh, email names, and other CB fields, if you have them in your system. Yes. It'll import those, and once they're in the way we saw it, we use this method to actually give them subscriptions. Right. So, so you have to, the import here only works with people that are already in your system. Understood. It, yes. it, it's, no, it's meant, that, that's, that's it's meant to import sense. subscriptions, not members. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Yes. So, uh, and we see other, other things here. There's good integration here because you see you can actually filter here. And I want to see everybody that's free. And I might want to say, send this person, send everybody that's free a mass mail. Yeah. So it's you, very you, good, you, very you. good. It's not a newsletter, but it's a very good integration to handle your membership. So let's go back now uh, and go to the plan and add and, and add, start protecting things. We haven't protected anything. We just gather money now <laughs> and people get into the plan. Uh, let's do two things. Uh, let's go to the the advanced plan that I created. And actually go to the integration. Ah, the first thing I want to do is I've added a field here in Community Builder. It should be called, if I find it, Advanced Member. So what I'm saying is, if somebody subscribe here, you set this field to one. And you remove it if the plan ends. Okay? Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Content. These are all the categories that my default Joomla site had. Let's assume, let me see what the default Joomla site looks like. Let's just go to the home page. And, ah, beginners, the beginners article, okay? Let's find this beginners article. Just a single article now. Yes. I can find it. Categories, and it's actually content. So, they find anything beginners here? Beginners. That's probably it. Okay. So, we're protecting that single article. We could have protected a whole, a whole category. Let's find sample data articles. Sample, okay, let's just protect the whole category and get it over with. <laughs> so there's no reason to have this. Let's just unclick that. Okay? Save that. Let's go an extra step further, though. Let's just say, you know, I'll tell you what. If somebody becomes an advanced member, I will actually make... No, it's not here, sorry. I will actually make this person give him an author role so he can actually start blogging on my site. Mm -hmm. Just a sample. This is how the Joomla ACL could fit in. We actually yeah. bump and take away. Okay, so we did that. Now what, let's go to the front end and log in. Uh, just refresh, for example. Oh, see, we get all this stuff is protected now. By default, we're telling, we're telling the system to protect the whole content, not give the teaser. Yes. Okay, that's why you see it the way it is. Okay, we could have set up the teaser mode and you see it the way. But this is how it works by default. So if I click on this, for example, it'll go to the registration form and it's basically just proposing advanced membership. That's it. Because <laughs> that's the only thing that will unlock the content. Yes. It doesn't even bother with free. Yes, fine. 
Okay. If I if I go, I can actually protect the same content with the free subscription. In which case, it'll propose both. Okay. So let's let's actually go through the process here. Of let me log in as John Doe. I don't want to go through the registration process again. So. OK, I'm logging into John Doe. Let me go try to read an article here that I'm not allowed to read. The system will say, hey, you know, you have to upgrade here. Yeah. I click Upgrade. It'll give me a nice invoice. Yeah. You can set up, configure this address, city, whatever yeah. you need. Click here. It'll tell me this dummy credit card to test. Okay. Any valid date in the future will work. Any three digit number here. Okay, uh, click the pay button. There we go. Now if I look in John Doe uh, here, John Doe has a subscription tab which tells him, you know, hey, there you go. You have advanced membership. It started today. It expires in one year. Yeah. We allow them to renew early if they want. Add another year. <laughs> it's configurable. You can unsubscribe. Click see past invoices. Yes. And what happens here now, if I go to the home page, I see. I read everything now. It's unlocked. Okay. Uh, one other thing we did now, we want to see if this person is an author. Remember, we uh, bumped yeah. into author, yes. so we go to the back end to check that. Go to the user manager. We have the filter here for free. It's just do nothing. Okay, there we go. Not only registered, we bumped him to author. And we actually set another CB field. So we go here, John Doe, and we see we have this admin only tab where I have that field, the membership field, and you see it's checked, advanced member. So now what I can do with that field basically is have a user list in the front end and filter that and show all my advanced members as in a user list. Yes. Or I can use it in the back end here, yeah. advanced search, and go and find advanced member is yes. And if I search here, I should find John Doe. So there's very good integration here, and it allows you to basically gives you the tools to organize your own subscription membership site. No, it doesn't have to be paid. No, no, I mean, it's just one. It's one. Well, I'm interested in paying. Most people are, but <laughs> yeah. a, lot, a lot of clubs are. Yes. That's that's secondary to clubs. I can see a use for free membership, but if if someone has paid for advanced membership and their membership expires, can they? They fall back to the free. Fall back to free. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or they decide. I mean, if they have it, if if they have a free lifetime plan, sometimes you might not want to give lifetime plans. You might want to say, you know, I have a free membership plan, but you have to renew it every month. It's kind yes. of a, you know, yeah. a, a drag. <laughs> yeah, so it sort of becomes a night screen sort of thing. Yeah, but I mean, everybody has their own business sense and oh, model. So. Yes. So. Yes. Um, more the database activity, I imagine. Ah, this is uh, this is where I wanted to get to. At <laughs> this point, uh, uh, there are lots of additional tools. Uh, I, I'm just scratching the surface yeah, yeah, here. Yes, and obviously we want to look at. Uh, for example, one thing here that's very cool that right. you don't see. Let me uh, install it actually, since I have I have ten minutes. So let me just go and install. Two things, three things actually. Uh, the tax module is needed for these two things, <laughs> so that's why I'm installing it. Not a, I'm not going to uh, configure any taxes, but that needs to be installed because it has some code that's needed. Of course, everything is in the documentation about this. If this is and, a plugin, what's the template here for iPhone? Excuse me? If this is a plugin, what's the template override possibilities? Sorry, I can't hear. What's the template override possibilities as it's a plugin? Yeah, the, the, the template you said? Yeah. 
there, there is there is a template here called rounded corners. Uh, okay, so it takes the CV template. Yeah, it has its own template thing though. Okay. Unfortunately, I mean, that's going to be improved though. Uh, so we also we did the tax. We want to do promotion. Promotion is another nice tool. We want to give coupons or discounts. Yes. So if we go to a show or a fair or something like that, we yeah. can give, give out discounts. Yeah. You, yeah, you can. Uh, you can. It's, it's a whole whole new ball game there. You can. Uh, let me just do the mailer here, just so I don't forget. Okay. All right. So I installed basically two things here: the mailer and promotions. And if I go here, you'll see there's extra icons here. Mm -hmm. The mailer and promotions here. Okay. And basically, well, it hasn't been published, but I should be able to set up promotion here. So I set up a new promotion, which could actually be a coupon code, or it could be automatic. Mm -hmm. If it's a coupon code, this is actually cool. So uh, I, I can, I, the automatic one might be, say, uh, an automatic, 10%, 10 10 10 off right, an, an automatic could be, you can even program it to give a slash over the old price and give the new one. Yes. That's very, very visual too. So uh, what you can do here, is, uh, I've set up a promotion on Joomlapolis where I have, uh, it's, it's, it's available, but it, the coupon code is taken from a field value I have in a specific user profile. So let's say I, if I, I don't want to create a lot of coupon codes just to give to one or two people. So I create a generic promotion where I tell them I want to take the coupon code from uh, from a specific field. For example, I don't have a field now, but let's assume a, a username, for example. But it could be a field that doesn't have a value in it. So it could be a, a CB promo code. Mm -hmm. So what happens is basically if, if I want to give a, a, a promotion to somebody, I just go to his profile and set up a specific code that only he knows. And he can only use it because the system will actually look when somebody tries to uh, in, input the promotion, it'll look at the CB field of that user. Right. And it, you can also do the same thing with a discount. It, you can have a specialized discount in the user, pro, in the user field. Yes. So that's just one area. Uh, you can do, uh, as I said, coupon codes or automatic promotions. You can set up how many. You might want to say I have a specific coupon code that gives you 10% off, but only the first 10 takers could use it. Yeah. Or you can say, I have a code that can only be used once by each person. Mm -hmm. uh, so much, infinite amount of uh, flexibility here. Uh, another concept is the, the mailer. What the mailer allows you to do is to program automated, personalized, uh, messages could be mailing message mails emails or it could be private messages so for example you can say I want uh, one week before this subscription ends yes. to send this personalized message to that person I want to send a different personalized message two days before it ends perhaps with a better discount coupon or last yes. chance <laughs> yes. okay all this could be automated yes. you set it up program it, just let cron jobs trigger things. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very powerful tool. Yes, but you do need, obviously, a hosting site which supports cron jobs. Yeah, well, everybody does. Um, I'd be surprised if... Well, if you have a hoster that doesn't support a cron job, you shouldn't be trying to purchase things <laughs> on such a host. <laughs> you, would, you would steer away from e-commerce there, because they probably have other problems if, that's, yes. if that doesn't exist. Okay, well, I, I think we can end the presentation. We can still continue if you want talking. Okay. But thanks. Uh, thank you very much.